An elephant is an enormous customer, by our standards. This is the African elephant. It's the bigger of the two. The other one's the Indian. Wonderful rough skin there, not uh, furry. But uh, even so, I come up to about the trunk. It's big by my standards, but not nearly the biggest animal that's ever lived. It had a distant relative that was much bigger. This was the woolly mammoth, a vast beast and uh, covered in woolly sort of fur because it was an Ice Age animal. It lived really with uh, Stone Age man and in his early cave paintings you find pictures of this beast and pictures of the man hunting him. They ate it. In fact, present day man has eaten mammoths. Some of these got frozen and lasted until the present day. The beast is extinct now. And uh, modern day explorers have found the bodies and uh, tried the meat. They said it wasn't too good. That was a huge creature, but even so, it wasn't the biggest. Some of them were even older. They're all extinct now, but they were the dinosaurs. And this one was the great meat eater, Tyrannosaurus. Very tiny forelegs up there, didn't do much at all as far as we can tell, but powerful running hind legs. It used to pursue other animals at enormous speed, as you can imagine, because of its size, overpower them and chomp them up. I wouldn't have stood nearly as close to it as I am now in real life because those jaws could actually devour me in two bites. That's all it would take. And I'm not uh, exactly small. How I could do it was uh, by use of these things. Its teeth, it had lots of them, and each one was as big as one of our knives. And they had much the same effect on the animals that it ate. But in fact, it wasn't the largest dinosaur either. And neither was this, but it was one of the biggest of the flyers. It's Pteranodon, which is a flying reptile. Not a bird, feathers weren't uh, invented yet, it had a great sort of skin spread over the wings, but it was a very big flying reptile. That beak could have done me a lot of damage, but basically it seems to have eaten fish and uh, small reptiles, small dinosaurs. It was Pteranodon, the, one of the biggest of the flyers, but certainly not one of the biggest of the dinosaurs. The biggest of those were the plant eaters. And this was the giant of them all, Diplodocus. From that head down to the tip of that tail, which is off the screen, it was a massive 28 metres or so, but it wouldn't have been found out in the open like this much of the time. It was a plant eater, but it lived in the swamps, because underwater, or in the boggy patches, a lot of its weight was supported for it, instead of having to support this huge body on those uh, four chunky legs. Wouldn't have done me a lot of damage if I'd been living then, unless it happened to tread on me, of course, because it was a plant eater, as you can see. It ate uh, the ferns and things around in those times to support such a huge body. But huge as that body is, or was, it's still not the largest animal that's ever lived. That is alive today. It's the great blue whale, or sometimes called the sulfur-bottomed whale. Of course, it can be enormous. It swims around in the water, which also supports its weight wholly, of course, since it's under the sea. But despite its huge size, it eats some of the smallest creatures going. It eats plankton, which are the microscopic animals swimming in the sea. Vast tonnages go into that huge mouth, and get sieved out of the water and uh, support its size. Well, fortunately, although it's a rare animal, the whaling industry has been curbed, and this thing is no longer hunted. And so it's around today. And we still may have a chance to see, each one of us, this thing, the greatest animal that has ever lived on this earth.